Hey everyone, in my last video I said I was going to give a review of the movie Australia. Here it is. It stars Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman. Uh, another one of... This is Braz Lutherman film. Um, I don't know if I said it right, but here is his name. He is the one that um, directed Strictility Ballroom, or however you say it, William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet and Moulin Rouge. All of his movies I loved. This is one movie that I loved. Um, it starts out kind of dumb and stupid, but then if you keep watching it, it actually gets really, really better. Um, I'm going to actually read you what it says in the back. Uh, Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman join forces with visionary director, I can't say his name, in Australia, an epic aromantic action adventure set on the brink of World War II. When an, England, when an English aristocrat, played by Nicole Kidman, travels to far away continent, she meets rough ton cattle driver, played by Hugh Jackman, and then enchanting child, this unlikely trio join forces and embark on a transforming journey, driving a herd of cattle across hundreds of miles of the world's most beautiful yet unforgiving terrain. When their world is turned apart by powerful enemies, they must try to find each other amidst the bombings of the city of Darwin by the Japanese forces that attacked Pearl Harbor. With his new film, the director is painting on a fast cabin creating a cinematic experience that brings together comedy, romance, drama, adventure, and spectacular. It's actually good. Um, it's kind of sad in a couple of, of um, ways. But um, there's a few parts there where they make a lot of reference to The Wizard of Oz. And it's really touching when a little kid plays somewhere over the rainbow on his harmonica so his mom can find him. It's really, really sad, um, but it's a great movie. If you've seen the other movies, Stricted, Strictly Ballroom, however you say it, Romeo and Juliet or Moulin Rouge, see this! Nicole Kidman, Hugh Jackman, Australia. Alright, before I go, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge Degrassi fan, but last, but Friday, um, the end did a little something stupid, um, at the time where they were supposed to show the new episode of Degrassi, they by accident started showing the an episode of MASH. A lot of people thought that their TVs were broken or that, you know, what was going on. It was actually the end's fault. If you would have waited and stuck around, but if you, if you would have watched it again at 7 o'clock, they actually showed the new episode, um... If you missed the new episode because of the little mash mix-up, then you can go to the n hyphen to no, you can go to the hyphen n dot com to watch it free right now on your computer, or you can wait until Friday when they rebroadcast last Friday's new episode at four thirty, and then that Friday's episode at five. So, if you want to wait till Friday to watch it at 4.30, and then the new one at 5, then go ahead. Or, if you can't wait, go to the-n.com. Also, Dancing with the Stars comes out tonight. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my special Dancing with the Stars episode. Um, I never watch it, but this season, I want to watch it because we have one of the girls from the show, The Girls Next Door. We have R&B singer Little Kim, and we also have Steve-O from Jackass. So really, we have an R&B artist, a Playboy Playmate, and a Jackass on this season's episode. Originally, Jewel, originally the singer Jewel was going to be on the show, but she got injured while rehearsing and practicing for the show, so... She had to be replaced by one of the Playboy Playmates from the show The Girls Next Door. 
So, I'm going to be watching it. And we just got a DVR, um, which is actually great because I can now record any show and watch it again, which is actually what I'm going to be doing when I do my um, Dancing with the Stars episodes. I'm going to actually be recording it and then watching it again and then giving you the highlights of what happened and who I feel should leave and who should stay. Um, so don't miss it. It's on tonight at 8 o'clock. It's a two-hour premiere, so it's from 8 to 8 to 10. No, 8 to 9, 8 to 10. Um, if you're going to miss it, set your VCR recorders, your DVD recorders, your TiVos, or your DVRs, or I believe you can go to abc.com to watch it free tomorrow if you miss it today. Uh, today, it's two hours. Next week, next week, they're going to start showing the two-part episode. Part one will be shown. Part one will be shown on Mondays, which is the, which is, which is where the celebrities dance with their partners. Then on Tuesday, it's going to be the results show where your votes determine whether your favorites stay to go on to next week or they leave. And that's going to be every week starting next week. This week is only a two-hour premiere, and it's only today on Tuesday. So don't miss it. Um, so that's it. I gave you the review of Australia starring Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman. I told you about the Degrassi mix-up that the end did, by sh that the end did, and how you can watch that Friday's episode online or this Friday at 4.30. And I also told you, Dancing with the Stars premieres tonight at 8. So until then, you know where to watch the grassy chat right here on YouTube.com.